on this March 11th in a couple of weeks, it'll be 77 years since I bought my first stock. And I paid $114.75 for three shares of City Service Preferred. But if you had bought, if you'd been a pension fund and you put a million dollars into the S&P 500 at that time and reinvested it, during my investing lifetime, that, that million would have turned into 5.3 billion. You would have gotten for every dollar you put in, you've gotten over $5,000 without ever reading a headline, an annual report, you didn't have to know accounting. You just had to believe in America. And you didn't have to pick the right stock, you just picked America. And I go back and I point out that there were two 77 year periods before that, and that takes us back to George Washington getting inaugurated. And there wasn't anything here then. And now you have a hundred and eight trillion dollars of household wealth in the United States. You know, we, we've got something that works. And that framework wasn't that we were working harder, it wasn't that we were smarter, but we had a framework that unleashed human potential. And just think of that three seventy seven year periods, one of which I experienced, and you couldn't help, but all you had to do was believe in America. That worked the last 77 years, but there's a question that came in, T29. And this is from Scott Baker. With so many people in the S&P index funds, is it still market neutral and the best investment vehicle for most people? Yeah, I think it's the best investment. Because most people don't know how to pick stocks. And, and most of the time, I don't know how to pick stocks. I mean, it's, it is not an easy game. And by definition, people are going to do average. I mean, if you take everybody in, in aggregate, and if half of them are paying big fees, and jumping around and paying brokerage commissions, the other half have to do better.